friends, today I'm reading a story called Jake Bakes Cakes by Gerald Hoxley. And this is a silly rhyming book. Jake Bakes Cakes. I wonder what kind of cakes Jake bakes. He's going to bake some upside down cakes. He's going to bake some pumpkin cakes. He's even going to bake a banana cake for a monkey. But what does he do when his baking day is done? Let's take a look. This is Jake. Jake bakes cakes. What kind of cakes does Jake bake? He bakes upside down cakes for acrobats and pumpkin cakes for witches and their cats. He bakes banana cakes for the monkey in the tree and fish cakes for fishes in the sea. Look, his fish cakes even shaped like a fish. He bakes fairy cakes for pixies in the park. And scary cakes for ghosties in the dark. Boo. He bakes birthday cakes for birthday surprises. And invisible cakes for spies in disguises. He bakes cheesecakes for mice, of course. And oat cakes for horse. He bakes honey cakes for bears with paws. And Christmas cake for Santa Claus. He bakes iced cakes for penguins in the snow. And squishy cream cakes for clowns to throw. He bakes carrot cakes for rabbits to munch. And fruit cakes for Professor Plum's lunch. He bakes angel cakes for balloons in the sky. And pink cakes for a pink pig in his sty. He bakes coffee cakes to wake up sleepy heads. And moldy cakes for monsters under beds. He bakes the cupcake for the winner of the race. And moon cakes for astronauts in space. A cake with moons and stars on it. He makes wedding cakes as tall as can be. And short cakes for Tom Thumb to have with his tea. He bakes chocolate cakes for chocolate fans. And robots cakes. He makes from old cake tins and tin cans. Those are the kind of cakes that Jake bakes. And what does Jake do when his baking day is done? Why, he throws off his hat and puts up his feet. And has a lovely piece of cake to eat. The end. 
Did you, I hope you liked my story, Jake Bakes Cakes. Jake does love cakes. He even eats cakes at the end of his day after a baking cakes. Have a good day, friends.